whoever told you that it needed to be comfortable for you in order for you to do it was a liar. You need to stop believing everything that they say. Listen, comfortability is not a requirement if you out here wanting to do greater. If you want a greater existence, if you want to manifest a greater reality, it being comfortable is not a requirement. You better get to it. Especially if you have an understanding and you have a consciousness of this. Because listen, the fundamental difference between life and death is consciousness. If there are people out here who are alive, but living unconsciously. And so do not yield the results of being alive. They live and experience more of a dead reality that's not, not creating, just deteriorating. Not applying the consciousness and not receiving the life that is in that consciousness. So, you know, they say, if you know better, you do better. Applied knowledge is power, not just knowledge, the applied knowledge, turning the understanding into an overstanding. You know what an overstanding is? An overstanding is knowledge being applied in real time. That's what the overstanding is, is, is you because you know something, because you understand something, you are applying that knowledge in real time. That's taking it from an overstanding and turning it into an action item, making it an understanding. Establish your mind on your. I think I said that right. Anyway, establish your mind. <laughs> establish your mind. Hungry people don't ask questions. They just get to eat and man, to stop talking and to do what you came here to do. You know why? Because an unestablished mind is going to imitate what it sees. And imitation is the is the uh, enemy of creation. And you're not sent here as an imitator. You are a creator. You come from creative energy. You are made in the likeness of God, whatever God energy, whatever almighty energy you 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 believe in and subscribe to. They created all this great stuff. You are made in their image, made in their likeness. You are a creator, not an imitator. So establish your mind on your creations and stop worrying about imitating things that you've seen. A well-established mind is like a wishing tree. I mean, you can speak to it and tell it things that 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 your soul desires and it's going to lead you in the path to make it appeal i promise you when they say it's not rocket rocket science this is what they're talking about like you can do so much if you choose to apply your greatness instead of your excuses When you align the four dimensions of your existence, you know what those are, right? In case you're done, I'm going to give them to you. The four dimensions of your existence, mind, body, soul, and energy. So that being that you are being comprised of mind, body, soul, and energy, when you pay attention to all four dimensions of your existence and you align them together, have them operating in, in harmony, you have the opportunity to create the realities that you desire. You're going to have more power. You're going to be much more efficient. You're going to have mental space. You're going to have a flow. You won't be trying to do things. It's just going to flow. But you're going to have to have that harmony within yourself first. Make peace with yourself and the rest will fall in line. That's one of the keys from this book.